uh, Georgia Tech, uh, really with a roller coaster over the last three years, winning the Orange Bowl down to three and nine. Then they bounce back uh, with a nice season here at four and four in the ACC, but winning all five non-conference games, including three against the SEC, going nine and four. So, uh, Joe, if you can set us up for 2017 and, and some of the things you're looking forward to this team being able to accomplish and, and hopefully setting up uh, during these eight months. Mark, I've got a really bad feeling that I'm going to regret saying this come, you know, mid-October or so of, of this year. But when you look at how 2017 sets up for Georgia Tech, it looks an awful like the way that 2014 set up, which was that year they made that Orange Bowl run. Georgia Tech has got to replace their quarterback on offense. They've got to replace the starting center and um, – I guess one of their key B-backs. They've got a, a couple of starters on defense they got to replace, but they bring back 17 starters in 2017, and that's almost the entirety of the defense, all of the skill players on offense for the most part, almost the entire offensive line. So if if, if they can manage to find a quarterback, uh, this thing sets up really nicely. And you saw how well Georgia Tech finished the year. Uh, I think a lot of that is a testament to – Part of the reason that 2015 was so bad was some injuries and some other kind of root causes led to a whole lot of freshmen and sophomores playing before they were really ready to. And now by the end of the 2016 season, those guys have a lot of experience under their belt and they're still fairly young. So this is still looks like a fairly young team going into 2017. If they can figure out the quarterback situation and get to a point where they're comfortable with that, the sky's the limit for this Georgia Tech team this fall. And uh, like I said, I'm probably going to regret saying that come like October. But uh, for now, we're just going to stick with it. And uh, I'll update my projections as necessary. Joey Weaver joining us from the Rumble Seat, uh, Georgia Tech's platform on SB Nation. Uh, Joey, before we let you go, you, you got to explain basketball conference podcast. It's a football show. Take it away. You, you let us know what's going on there. We, we were trying to come up with something creative. Uh, it is a football podcast. Make no mistake about that part. Uh, but something just signature to the ACC, it tends to get referred to as a basketball conference. Uh, obviously, Duke and Carolina and Pittsburgh and now Louisville and Syracuse and Notre Dame and all these teams that traditionally have very good basketball programs. That's where the league has been looked at a lot of times. Uh, and so the name is just kind of a tribute to how how it's usually referred to. But make no mistake, again, we we do talk ACC football almost exclusively, unless you get us talking about other things such as locations of bowl games and you know some other uh, some other maybe peripheral sort of uh, topics that would go along. You can find us uh, if you got an iPhone or an Android or whatever. You can find us either on iTunes or on Google Play. It's just called Basketball Conference Podcast. Uh, you can find us on SoundCloud. Um, I'm on Twitter. I'm at FTRS Joey. Uh, my broadcast partner is Mike McDaniel. Uh, he's at Mike McDaniel ACC. And the, the account that we have together is at BC Podcast ACC. Uh, feel free to send us emails if you got questions or something you want to hear us talk about, either ACC football related or otherwise. Uh, our email address is basketballconferencepodcast at gmail.com. Uh, but we've, we've, basically gone through the whole season. We've had a lot of fun with it and we're looking to keep going through the off season. So if you guys are looking for some college football content over the next few months for your drive to work or sitting at work or driving, you know, on a trip or whatever, uh, find us because we're going to have a lot of fun this off season talking about football and, and much, much more. Joe, you better hope uh, that conference of yours stops winning postseason football games and national championships, or they're going to wreck your, your podcast name. <laughs> yeah, they will. It, it, I mean, it'll be uh, much tougher to explain here in a year or two if uh, if it is no longer looked at as a basketball conference, which would be fine with me. All right. That's Joey Weaver from the Basketball Conference podcast. I'll get it straight. Catch him there and also from the Rumble Seed covering Georgia Tech athletics. Joey, it's always a pleasure, man. Hey, thanks for having me on, Mark. Anytime.